Hello everybody, welcome back to Grizzly Mountain. Actually, I think we're going to call it Grizzly Manor now. Uh, Chief of Council Adrian suggested a uh, Grizzly Manor and I, I kind of like it. Sounds something more benefiting at King, doesn't it? Uh, befitting, benefiting. What did you say? Now you're just making up words. Anyways, check this out. We got a bunker. We already got some stuff in there. Eh, we're gonna work on putting some more in there today. First, we're going to get this straw up, put it in the hayloft. That's quite a hill there, isn't it? Man. Then we are going to cut some more grass, and we're not doing anything. Let's try that again. Yeah, so we'll cut some more grass. We will turn most of it into hay, I assume. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna cut. But I know that our two little patches that we have, I don't want to call them fields, but uh, the two little grass patches we have planted, we will turn both of those into hay and put those in the loft uh, for the sheep and horses. That will come first, and then whatever excess we may have, I mean, we can come up here and mow all this if we want, uh, we'll pick up and drop in the bunker down there. So, yeah, I mean, it's we're not looking to fill it up instantly. We'll get it eventually. Uh, may even look into chaffing some of the corn that we have planted over there depending on how much we get for the pigs um, Yeah, that's certainly an option may throw some of that in the bunker lease us a little, you know two row chaffer Actually is that a thing in this game? Let's see um, Yeah, yeah, there you go you can pull that, right? I think that's one. Just goes on... I don't know. It's all this. Yeah, I think that goes on a three-point leakage of the, I assume. I don't know. We'll have to check that out. But I uh, probably should put most of it into storage anyways uh, for the pigs. It is the biggest part of their diet. They do use quite a bit of it, especially if we're going to make a big pig farm. Bigger pigger. Yeah, you know. Quite a bit of straw off that lap. I think, what, a couple of trailer voles here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we'll get this knocked out. We'll get that taken care of. I'm trying to think of what I gotta do this morning. Um, one of my good buddies, IRL, came by and I was playing earlier and he took the controller from me and went over and cut a bunch of trees down. So now I have to go pick up some trees over there beside Field M. You can see the Scorpion King over there. Uh, can't really be mad at him. He made us a bunch of money. All I gotta do is pick it up and sell it now. So, hey. Got that going for us. Not bad at all. That's something else we can do. So we got trees, we got some grass, we got some hay. Uh, sugar beets are planted. You can see the soybeans are already up and on their way to growing. The corn is also sprouted over there and looking very good. Everything is fully fertilized except for this field that I'm on right now. Uh, we'll put the second stage on that before we cultivate. And this one will be ready to go. Ready to go. There we go. Finally filled it up. I assume we're going to go back with... I assume... <laughs> I say I assume like I have no idea, right? Like like I have no part in the process. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back with uh, wheat. We'll just stick wheat back in that field. Um, for right now, the way it stands, you know, we have each of the four major types growing for the, the pigs so we can just keep flipping fields just keep rotating or not rotating but you know um, turning them I should say uh, harvest fertilize cultivate plant repeat you know I think that's what we'll do we will build up a good good bit of storage stored food I should say stored pig food we have a big old pile of it growing there yeah, 
Probably should have started on that road, shouldn't I? All right. Anyways, let me carry on doing this. We uh, we'll come back and mow some grass. How about that? Jump in our little fortress and go tear some grass up. The first two shelters that we placed down. Um, the very first day here, we got rid of those two. Out with the old, in with the new. We moved. We had Grumpy move our lime tank that was giving us a problem as far as getting to it. And since we were doing that, we just moved the uh, seed and fertilizer tanks as well. And we also went ahead and put in a liquid fertilizer tank, uh, just in case down the road, you know, we get us a sprayer. I, I've been looking at a boom arm sprayer, talking to Mr. Ross down at the store. So uh, if we should happen to get one of those, we'll be ready to fill it up. So yeah, we got that going for us. That's nice. Let's uh, let's get some get some mowing done. I'm not sure if it was mowing or not. It doesn't look like it's putting anything down, but I guess it's just because of the bushes, uh, the layer of grass or whatever that's not cutting there. It's covering it up. But there's certainly grass there. So we'll take this. Uh, let's go straight across the road here. All this right here, these both these two little patches, we will turn into hay. I think we have just under 60,000 liters of hay right now, so... By the time you put these two fields on top of it, we'll be good on hay for a while, and everything else can go in the silage bunker. So, maybe we can get a little money going. We are down to $40. That is it. Four zero. We can't even go to the grocery store and have a good weekend on $40. I guess... That's no good. We gotta, gotta do something. So we'll put some grass in the bunker, get it fermenting, make a little money off of that. And like I say, I have a bunch of trees that are cut down up there, so we can go sell those at any point and make our money off of those. Ooh, there's a big pile of grass. Goodness. Let's see. Might as well mow that on our way across the road, huh? get to the point where we'll start getting uh, a little more selective on the grass we cut get uh, start branching out I should say I guess start cutting in more places there's plenty of grass around here it's not all fertilized grass and it's not gonna be as productive as this grass right here but hey it's free it's already there just a little bit of work that's all we gotta do to get it that's all we gotta do So yeah, that's it. We are, man, we are on our way to getting some pigs. Well, after we get more than forty dollars in the bank, we'll get some pigs. Uh, as soon as the corn comes in, uh, we have everything else in storage right now. At least some of it, uh, not very much, but we have a little bit of everything except for the corn for the pigs. So there you go. We're gonna take that and start our empire here at Grizzly Manor. I like the sound of that, Grizzly Manor. Very good. Might even sell this house right here. I don't know if we should sell it. Maybe we'll rent it out. Um, not sure what we would do with the property. Am I hung on the? Yeah, I'm stuck on the tree. I'll definitely go cut those trees out of there at some point. But yeah, um, sell that house and build our castle over on Harbor Island. That's the, the end goal, I, I guess. We put us up a gate right in front of the bridge and some stone walls just so we can keep the ruffians out. We don't want any of those, those shady characters from Mercury Farms coming around here and snooping around on our island. So we had to step up security a little bit. But that's, you know, eventually. We'll get there. I guess eventually... What's going to sustain us is going to be our pigs versus the um, the lumber. Eventually, we'll get to a point where we can sell enough pigs every day to you know cover our costs and make a little money. So we're let's see we're about halfway through our bank loan, and yeah, once we get that paid off, try to keep it you know not max it out anymore at least. Uh, it's it's sometimes hard to go without using it at all. Uh, it's kind of silly not to use it, you know. It's it's a resource that's there to to help you get ahead. So you, you just have to be selective with how you use it, I guess. Um, 
don't go just maxing it out all the time like I do. <laughs> it's one of, my, one of the first things I do when I get on a map. Just start borrowing money. Let's go spend it. Not always the best business plan, but that's all right. Hadn't failed us yet, has it? As soon as we get some money, I'm going to test and see if this thing will pull a wind rower or tether behind it. I know it has the we have the headers for it that do those things, but um, somebody commented on one of my videos. I have to go back and look and see who it was. Uh, anyways, they commented that wondering if if it would pull a wind rower, just so you could do two things at once. Um, or a tether, I should say. It's already wind road. If it would pull a, a tether so that you could knock both steps out at one time. Uh, TCJ42000, I believe it was. Some assortment of numbers. We'll have to find out for you, buddy. We'll figure it out. Just <laughs> at some point when there's not $40 in the bank account. It's not... We're getting more grass off here than I thought we would. Not too bad a yield here. That's some pretty decent windrows right there. This will certainly put us over 100,000 liters in storage. We'll probably take the first trailer full or two and make sure the horses are topped up. I'm not going to feed any to the sheep right now because I can still feed them straight grass. So uh, if we're going through the trouble to make the hay, I'm going to store it uh, for a later date. Well, except for the horses because they won't take the grass, so they have to have to have hay. Let's see. Well, new day, we got to ride the horses again, so we got that going this afternoon. Four horses takes a little ride. I guess that's hay that was here from last time that I'm uncovering. For once in a while, it looks like a windrow is very light. I guess that was already there. Alright, let's see. While we got the cutter head on, let's go ahead and cut something else. Uh, let's do this little patch right here. See what kind of yield we get off this very, very rough patch of grass here. I suppose it'd be beneficial to come over here and do the same thing on this side of the road that we did over there. Uh, plow it out and plant grass in here. You may as well, if you're going to spend any amount of time mowing it, you may as well get good yield off of it. Yeah, we'll call that good enough. Turn around. Ooh. Can't go through that one. Saved it just in time. Yeah, we'll just make one pass, and then we'll go find something else. We'll just start knocking down some loose grass. Uh, oh, up on the side of the hill. I wanted to see what that was like. It looked like pretty decent grass up above field number B there. Nothing? Looks like we were getting any kind of yield over that. Also, got to mow this patch because this because it drives me crazy. Keep saying I'm going to it, I'm never coming here and done it. <laughs> Didn't do very good, did it? Maybe time for a little landscaping tool right here. Get rid of the foliage. See how open it is over there? We'll take a ride over here in just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, see what kind of damage my buddy did over there. Let's see what cut going up to. Might as well make a loop around the field if we're already driving up there. Probably time to do a little work on my dirt path there doesn't really connect to anything it just kind of ends should at least run it down to the horses eh, getting kind of steep isn't it hmm. 
I don't know. I think we can get a loading wagon up here just fine. I think it'll be okay. I'm not sure for a second, but... Uh, maybe up near the pine trees up there, up near that tree line might be a little different, but at least this path is... It'll be fine. It's no steeper than the, the field right there. This, I'm anxious to see on the return pass if we make it back up there as well. Let's just run it straight. We'll go all the way down. This is going to be a decent amount of grass going in the bunker. I'm excited about that. Let's see. We'll just go back up the same line. That way we can tell how how bad it gets gradually. Hmm. Let's say she was starting to labor a little bit, but now she's still running the same speed. She doesn't mind. We got us a trooper of a mower here. I like it. We can definitely make a couple more passes. This thing is doing just fine. Nice and stable and didn't slow down at all. No complaints. No complaints. So, uh, let's see. I guess after I get all this done, before the fields are ready to harvest, we're going to take a couple day vacation from Grizzly Mountain. Uh, have to. I got a call that we needed to go back to Jockey Inc. and check on things. Uh, apparently we're having some issues over there, so I got to go back and see what's going on. I think I may have bitten off more than I could chew, finally. Getting a little rough up here. Cut her head's not on the ground, not doing anything. Uh, yeah, got something going on at Jockey Inc., so we gotta go back to Ravenport, see what's happening there. Check on everything, make sure everything is running as intended. And we'll stay out of the trees, we'll just cut it down here. Uh, and then after that, yeah, I think we're going to go back to Mercury Farms, check on the sheep over there, and see if maybe we can help old that farmer Ben dude. He has certainly helped us out. Whoop, can't run through that tree. Uh, can I go this way? Kind of got myself in the corner here. Need to have a path that I can drive through with the loading wagon behind me. I think it's going to be alright. Let's see, I should finish that off. I was going to go the other way. Alright, well let me uh, let me do a little bit more mowing. And I will catch back up with you here in just a minute. We will get this picked up and start putting it in the bunker. Uh, we'll worry about turning the hay over later. Yeah, I may do that first. I don't know. I'll be back doing something. I know that. Let me knock this out though. Alright, we got everything, well, not everything, we got quite a bit mode. We went uh, all the way up beside that field, over between this field and our house over there, up on the hill right there. Yeah, we got some grass. But uh, it occurred to me that I should probably attempt to keep these fields in kind of the same rotation, so I have all the rest of the fields growing. Um, I'd like to go ahead and get this one going as well, so... I grabbed the subsoiler here. We'll go ahead and get this thing cultivated, plowed, whatever whatever this thing does to the ground. Hit it with some fertilization, and then we'll go back and plant it real quick. So um, shouldn't take us very long at all. We'll have this field going, and then we can jump back on the grass and, and take care of that. And at least this will be growing while that happens. So, so that's the plan. Get this thing back going. Um, Get some seed in the ground and, and get it growing again. Missed a little strip right there, didn't I? That'll drive me nuts. I'll have to go get the mower back up here. It's going to be a little bit of grass over there. I think I might have 50,000 liters cut. It sounds ambitious, but I really do. I think I got... I think a trailer full is 23,000. So I, I think I got over two trailer fulls. We'll see, though. It remains to be seen. We have a little less than a trailer in there now. I think we have 19,000 liters in the bunker now. So, it's a start. We're getting there. Like I say, that will be just to kind of fill it up as you go. Whenever you need to clean up around the yard, cut some grass, and drop it in the bunker. And let it go. I like it. There's a pretty decent price going for it at, this, uh, at the barn. So, I... 
I assume, yeah, we've done this before, would take the loading wagon and just pick it up, uh, put the pickup down on the loading wagon and drive in there and pick it up and go sell it. So that will be our plan. We don't, we're don't. we not going to invest in any belts or anything like that right off the bat. Maybe, maybe if it's something we start doing a little bit more, we can do that. But as of right now, we'll just do it a wagon at a time. Especially if we can wait for a great demand. Looks like somebody got a little happy with the landscaping tool there. We'll have to come back and replow that part. Oops. Yeah, and a little happy. That's alright. You win some, you lose some. What you gonna do, right? Alright, well. You know how this goes. You don't need to hear me blabbing through the whole thing. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Uh, make the turn up here and throw a little music on and see what happens. All right, well, we'll be done with this flip in no time. We're already getting seed back in the ground. It is fully fertilized. Both stages are done. No need to lime or plow. Yeah, <clears throat> looking good. Going to be a good looking wheat field here. Um, I have decided to leave the grass. I'm going to leave it for now. We're getting ready to, this took just um, a little longer than I thought, but um yeah, we're going to leave it for now while I go on our, my little trip to Ravenport and possibly Mercury Farms. And then when I get back, it should have grown again. We'll give it a second cutting, and uh, hopefully by then all our fields are grown too. So, well, they're certainly growing. Hopefully they are ready to harvest. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just wait to let the, let the grass set a little bit, and we'll pick up twice as much, especially since it's not fertilized. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Pretty decent plan. Let it grow again and give it a second cutting. So, yeah, that's it. Did alright. We... Poor old bunker looks lonely there, doesn't it? Sitting there all empty. We did alright today, though. We did pretty good. It's only 9.30, what? 9.30 in the morning? Yeah. Sometimes I can't see that clock up there in the corner. Almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I gotta get the plow back out and fix that part. And we've gotten a lot of work done, so... Uh, as soon as we get this completed, all of our fields will be growing. All of them fully taken care of. No need to fertilize or do anything like that to them, so... Yeah, as soon as we get this done, I'm gonna spend all afternoon... Especially if I'm leaving the grass down, I'm gonna spend all afternoon selling logs, so... I'm gonna build up this bank account. We have... Not very much money. <laughs> Not very much money. $494, so... Not exactly, exactly financially secure, are we? Uh, we can fix that. We can fix that. We've got enough wood on the ground. Um, might take a ride over there and look at that before we... 
call it an episode here. I'll see if I can set a worker. See if Mr. Lance is around. He wants to take over here for us. There he goes. All right, let's run down here. I think that since this is now clear between what we had planted in grass and field number M, I think we're going to extend number M. We're going to run it all the way out to the road. And uh, if this is going to be our full-time soybean field, then let's make it a little bigger. Make it a little bigger. Uh, as you can see, he didn't didn't quite figure out the Scorpion King at first, so we got a couple full-length trees in here. Uh, but he did all right. Most of them are cut and and lengthed. All we're gonna do is get the stump grinder in here and get rid of these things. I'm also gonna go ahead and take these out. Um, these <laughs> it was a bad idea to leave those. I I knew I said I was just being lazy when I did it, and that's all it was. I uh, just didn't want to put the work in. These things are not a lot of fun to deal with. They're hard to process. So uh, we will get rid of those, though, and open this field up. But as of right now, you can really not run a worker in here. He just freaks out about all these trees. So we'll get them out of here. Plus, they're going to impede the growth of my corn. I don't want that. So yeah, we'll get those taken care of, get those out of here. And the same with these on this side of the, the road here. We'll knock these out, and we will get the plow... Let's see, about, about right there's the edge. So we'll plow from here up to field M all the way down to the corner here. I do add quite a bit of soybeans to our, our uh, yield there, so that's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I like it. All right, well, thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.